Hi guys, it's Erica, and today I'm going to be talking about the plants that are bringing me the most joy at the moment. I literally just went around my house, I looked at all my plants, and I just picked up the ones that I have been looking at for like a month now, or maybe like three weeks. Three weeks to a month, and I've just been in love with them, and I have been taking extra good care of them and just keeping an eye on how they're doing and such. So let's get into the plants that are bringing me so much joy. So I'm going to be showing you these plants in order from like what's bringing me joy to what is making me so super happy and ecstatic and I just love the plant so much that I want to die. So it's actually really hard to order them. Okay, so I guess the first plant that is making me so super happy is this little baby philodendron prince of orange. And the reason that I've been so happy with it lately is because when I first got it, it had... So it's grown three leaves since it's been in my care. Um, so this one right here, as you can see, it's kind of like chopped off halfway so that was the first one that grew out and it was you know deformed and stuff and then this one is the second one that came out and this one is also a little bit deformed it's not looking its best but this new leaf right here is its newest leaf that came out and it is fully formed it is a beautiful orange color which is why I love this plant so much. It's a Prince of Orange and I'm so happy with it. I cannot wait until it grows out another gorgeous leaf like this and I'm kind of just waiting to see how long it takes for this leaf to turn green like the others because as the leaves grow out they are a bright orange and they slowly get darker and darker until they turn just a regular old green and <laughs> I think I'm gonna need to repot this little guy soon. When plants are in a little container like this, they tend to dry out quicker. You gotta water them more often, and if you leave them to dry out for too long, the soil the soil gets very hard from what I found, and some plants, the roots cannot stand through that. I don't know, I've, I've had two plants not be able to recover from me not watering them enough when they were in a small pot like this so it makes me really nervous i'm gonna transfer it to a bigger pot soon so the next plant that is bringing me lots of joy is this gorgeous begonia that i bought recently in a houseplant tour and i know the name of the begonia i figured it out thank you to everyone who kind of suggested names to me i know the name now and I never knew that there were so many begonias that looked kind of exactly the same in my opinion, but they have different names and they're different kinds of begonias. Like, that's insane. Begonias are a whole nother story. <laughs> but look how gorgeous this plant is. I am completely obsessed with this plant. It's just so beautiful. Um, it's kind of been dropping leaves since I bought it, but I think that's fine. Usually when I take bring plants home they need kind of time to acclimate to the new environment and kind of just recover from being in a nursery that might not have taken the best care of it it's been in transit and all that stuff so it's okay for me that it's dropping leaves it's still so gorgeous i cannot stop staring at it i can oh and it's a begonia. I never thought I would be so obsessed with a begonia. It's actually funny because there's two begonias <laughs> in this little cluster of plants that are making me super happy right now. Um, but yeah, so gorgeous. I'm so happy with this plant. Uh, <laughs> I hope that the leaves stop dropping soon because this is, I just want her to grow. And I think there are some flowers on here. It had flowers when I bought it, but they all fell off. They all fell off and I saw some. It's growing new leaves, I see, but ugh, I can't stand it. Okay, I usually keep it here 
but I had to kind of fill up the shelf behind me because it looked very empty without this baby here. So I'm super happy about this purchase. It was one of my best purchases, I think so. I just realized there's three begonias on the list of plants that are making me super happy. Okay, so I guess next begonia. So this is my begonia maculata YDI and it's been in my care for not too long. I don't know exactly how long but this is how it looks. When I first got it, it had these two leaves and this ooh, this one leaf and this leaf is getting crunchy so that's been worrying me but it came out with this new leaf and there's another leaf coming out right here there was also another new leaf but i accidentally knocked it off that's like the worst feeling ever when you knock off a new leaf coming out. <sighs> but anyways, this plant has been growing and I'm super excited and I've been keeping an eye on it because I know that it's going to keep growing and it's just going to get so big and beautiful like my other begonia over there. So I'm just waiting for it to happen. Like every morning I like and throughout the day I will stare at this plant and I will look at all the little spots where leaves are starting to come out and I'm really excited to watch this plant grow so most of my plants are still growing they're not affected by the winter <laughs> at all probably because I have them in grow lights here and also it's still really hot in California it's been like 80 degrees 90 degrees so it's been fine. Okay, so my next plant that I'm really excited about is I think kind of unexpected because usually when I'm excited about a plant it's because it's growing really fast and it's just doing amazingly, right? <laughs> but this plant is not doing well at all. But uh, so this is my Calathea uh, ornata. And when I first saw this plant and I picked it up, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know it was a Calathea. Like, I just saw it and I was like, that is an amazing plant. That is a gorgeous plant. And when I first bought it, it had, it was, you know, it had all its leaves intact. It wasn't looking scrunchy like this. I already have cut the leaves from their old scrunchy points, so I'm probably going to end up cutting this off too. But this little guy right now has spider mites and that's why it's not sitting with all those other babies over there because I cannot let these spread. His little friend has spider mites too. My uh, Calathea White Fusion. That one has spider mites also. So they're suffering together. Um, they've been going through treatment so they'll, they'll be fine. My Alocasia, my Fredic by the way, is free of spider mites. <laughs> so I'm feeling super relieved about that one. Uh, but anyways, back to this Calathea. I'm really excited about it because it has this new leaf coming out. And ever since this plant has been in my care, it had not, it's not doing well. I keep it so close to the humidifier. I make sure it's watered on time. So, well, I guess in the beginning I wasn't as good about watering it on time and making sure it was close to the humidifier, but now I do. And it's finally paying off because this leaf is coming out and I am so excited to see when it's nice and healthy. The only thing I'm worried about is if the spider mites have done a lot of damage to it because this leaf, I've been waiting for it to come out for a while. <laughs> I've been keeping an eye on it, waiting for it to come out, and I just hope the spider mites didn't ruin it too badly. My alocasia one, you know, I'll just show you my alocasia. So this is the leaf that came out of my alocasia after having spider mites, and it doesn't look like the most amazing leaf of all time, but it definitely is a giant improvement from this one. So I'm very happy about it, and I'm really happy with my alocasia. Uh, I didn't want to add it to the list because I feel like the seven plants I have already I can talk about for long enough. <laughs> so 
So there's my Calathea. Pray for her. <laughs> I just, uh, I'm so excited to see that leaf unfurl and kind of finally have a leaf that is not all crinkly like this. I think, I guess a, another reason why I'm so excited about it is because I have this idea in my head that that leaf that's coming out is going to be one that is kind of already acclimated to this environment that it's living in so it's probably not gonna get crunchy that's what i'm telling myself okay so the next plant is this little watermelon peperomia here so this peperomia this watermelon peperomia is from one of my first videos uh when i was saving my dying watermelon peperomia and this is one of the propagations. All the propagations I have are have leaves like this and they make me so happy to see. So <laughs> this is the only one that I've taken out of the little plastic bags that they're in. So I'm just gonna see how she does in this environment. But it literally, it literally grew out of that leaf there. And I'm so excited because she looks amazing. So I would consider myself a watermelon pepperomia pro now, <laughs> but oh my gosh, I really love this plant. I love, okay, so what I try to force myself to do is completely ignore my little propagation area for as long as possible so then I could be really happy and surprised when I see so much growth like this. So this has been growing for like six months, so it's really been quite a while, quite a while for this guy. I might have done this one before I even started my channel. Woo! Okay, anyways, there she is, my little watermelon peperomia. Okay, so the next two plants are kind of really hard to decide which one, which one is re making me the most happy. Uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna show them both to you. So, this is my di Diasoria elephant types. And look how long her little trail of hearts is. I don't know if you can see, but her leaves are shaped like hearts. I absolutely love this plant. It makes me so happy to look at it and just see her grow but some of the leaves on top are yellowing so i'm really hoping that it's not going into dormancy again so this is my first codex plant so i'm not really sure how the growth cycle works i definitely need to do more research into that but i've literally just been bottom watering it and i have it in a next to like maybe a foot away from a south facing window and as you can see it's doing amazingly there so I literally just water whenever I feel like it <laughs> usually whenever the soil is really dry so seems to really be doing well like that I'm just so excited about this plant <laughs> okay so the final plant I have here is my begonia jumbo jet that I also got this plant in a in one of my first um house plant or nursery houseplant tours and uh, it is flowering and it has grown so many new leaves since then and the new leaves i found have little silver polka dots on them let me find another one to show you right here so they have these little silver polka dots on them and i was not expecting that at all i saw them and i was like oh my gosh is this a little polka dotted plant because the reason why I bought these plants is because of these gorgeous, really like dark green leaves and in the back it has this beautiful, you know, reddish color, classic begonia and it's been flowering these beautiful pink flowers. I absolutely love this plant. I actually cannot believe that I have three begonias in this seven plant list. That is almost half of the plants I showed you are begonias ah! so it's so beautiful look at that flower so yep 
those are all the plants bringing me making me super happy that i'm so excited to check on let me know the plants that are bringing you the most joy the ones that you are super excited about that just make you so happy and smiley when you think about them let me know your plants and that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time bye